A master document is comprised of several sub-documents, and it allows you to create a single file by linking to multiple sub-documents. So click the View tab, click Outline, Show Document, and begin to insert your sub-documents. Actually, you're not inserting them really, you're actually just pointing or linking to the documents. So we're going to add two of them here, just to give you an idea of how we can structure a document. And then we'll go back and we'll add in the other um, few, few other ones. So we're going to accept all the styles here. So we have a consistent style across the whole document. Um, add a second one now. And then we'll create a table of contents. So you can see how it's structured. Okay, we'll go to the first page, go to References, Table of Contents, and we'll add in the, um, the default um, Table of Contents. So there you go, Introduction is the first chapter, Installation is the second, but let's look at how we can change that now, how easy it is to, to restructure the document. So back into Outline mode, and we're going to, um, we're going to collapse the levels here to level one, which is, and um, select the second one, and then we can move it up to the top by clicking that and then exit the outline view and we'll rebuild the table of contents and you'll see how easy it is to um to restructure a document with a few clicks rather than you know copying and pasting and dragging stuff around the document which is you know very problematic and error prone so okay we're going to rebuild it there you go installations number two and introductions number one and um we're good to go so let's add the other um third fourth and fifth documents um, which are typically chapters you probably have in your document. And um, I think you can see quite quickly how easy it is to, to rebuild a document and to maintain something that's quite large. You probably don't need it for shorter documents, but, but using this approach to manage larger documents, particularly things which you want to share with different people, um, say collaborate on a document over, the, over a network, this is a, a, a quite a good approach to use, or at least to be aware of that it's there. So we're adding the third, fourth, and fifth chapters now. We're just going to accept the styles, and then we're going to rebuild the table of contents. And again, you can point towards something on your your local machine, or you can point towards files on a network. Say if you have um, a company network that you share files with. So here we go. Change the settings, we're going to move those into the correct sequence as we want to. Then we're going to close that and we're going to rebuild the table of contents. Okay, looks good, we're happy with that. Consistent formatting, good say. And what we would do here typically is add in the headers and footers and so forth. Then we rebuild the table of contents, save, and um, that's it.